What's going on YouTube? It's Castlescope. We're back on another one. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how I got to this design that you see right on the screen right here. Um, kind of call this just the pixel circle effect, whatever you want to call it. It's a very simple design, but it's really cool because it's something that you could definitely include in your portfolio and just have it look really nice and just something to start filling out your portfolio if you're an up and coming designer, just like myself. So I'm just going to go over my work progress and you guys are going to see it on screen so the first thing that i had to do was obviously mask out my character and now you guys see me using the gradient fill okay so all this is down in the semicircle and it's the gradient fill so i chose like a blue to a darker blue color on the outside right so you guys see me just going over the gradient just changing the scale changing the angle until i just really feel that it's right and also make sure that your style for it is on radial so that you guys can uh, be able to make a circle out of it because you don't just want to go from one harsh rectangle to the next you want to just use the radio and have a radius of gradients if that makes sense right and just play around with your gradient map until you come to a nice cool color um, on this I just want the cool blue and then you guys see me now adding in some brush strokes in the middle just a little bit of really really light blue not white but really white light blue so that i can just make a nice difference and center markel folds in the middle all right and then you guys see me doing the second uh phase of this which was just making a skin right and this is just like if you guys want to just watch this a couple times if you don't have topaz labs this is what i did i just added like two layers of sharpening on top and then I just played around with curves and levels to make my own custom skin but this was just the method for if you don't have Topaz Labs if you do have Topaz Labs I just suggest you use it just use dynamic pop and light pop smooth on top of the layer right and then I'm going back over the second method with some curves and levels okay so don't get the first method confused with the second first method was I added two sharpened layers and then I went on to uh, I had two sharpened layers and then I went on to curves and levels. The second one, I played around with my curves and levels when I already had put on Topaz Labs. All right. And I dropped a tutorial if you guys want to get Topaz Labs, and it will be linked down below as long as the tutorial playlist. All right. So here's the really important part making the rectangles, right? So all you had to do is you see, I make these rectangles right from Markel Fultz, and I just duplicate the layer. See, I'm using the rectangle marquee tool. And you guys are going to see after I do this, yep, using the rectangle tool, make a selection, move it up to the top. You just got to stretch out the, the corners. So you would press control T to free transform and then stretch out the selection of the rectangle from the corners after you duplicate the layer from Markel Fultz. And con duplicating a layer is control J and then control T, stretch out the layers and there you go. You have your nice little pixelated um, things at the top so what you have to do after that is go to filter distort and polar coordinates you guys see I'm on the filter distort this time I'm using pinch but go to filter distort polar coordinates it's really all you have to do um, if you want to go to filter distort pinch to just put I mean just make it like pinched I guess you can do that but it's really up to you guys and then now I'm on filter liquify tool and I just wanted to bring the gaps together but if you do have a small gap don't really worry about it because you guys are about to see that with these gaps I'm just making the circle a little bit bigger and then I kind of just put it behind Markel Fultz like I'm using the clone stamp here but there's really no need to do that because you could just kind of finesse it and put the circle behind him and then it's just like fine so uh, I just want to tell you guys again to do the circle once you have all three all three maybe two or three of the pixelated rectangle layers just go to filter distort and go to polar coordinates to do that all right and now you guys see I'm just positioning it and I went back on Topaz Labs this is just a step that I want to do because the jersey had a little bit too much of noise on it so I used Topaz Denoise and I just put the the layers up or I just uh, made a layer mask and I painted white on it because white reveals black hides just to put a little bit of softness onto that jersey that was really harsh and then I'm just cleaning up some of Markel Fultz right here and it's really just coming together pretty cool 
pretty cool, pretty clean. Like, it's nothing too complicated to do, but it's just a really clean design. And this is my my blur for my um, shadow. And all I had to do for that was use the circle tool or the circle instead of the rectangle marquee tool, it's the circle marquee tool or whatever you'd like to call it. And I just paint a soft shadow underneath the foot. Whenever you're painting a shadow, you want the darkest part of the shadow to be right underneath the foot, not on like the edge, like because that just doesn't make sense. All right. And then I just have a white layer, um, just masked it out so that I can get some nice color nice uh, lights on there and then I'm also just adding some lights with my white brush <laughs> all right so you guys see that on screen just me adding some nice little lights manually to just brighten up the scene and then now you're gonna see me use exposure and with the exposure I'm just using blend if and turning it down a little bit because it was really harsh but then I'm just really careful and painting on with my white brush because white reveals black hides and I'm just adding in some nice little highlights to show that reflection off of that shadow onto Markel Fultz. So it's just going real smooth and I just took my time with this one. But um, I didn't, I don't, this is like in times two speed because I don't want to just like you guys just sit here for 18 minutes and just listen to me talk because I was going to make a full tutorial but there's just a lot going on today. so. I'm just breaking it down with an overview of what I did. So I hope this uh, definitely helps. It should still help you a good amount if you're trying to do this. And then now you guys see my shadows. And I just used another exposure layer. With my shadows I just painted on, on white once again. Just on the parts that are really dark. And then I just had like an excess thing right there. You always have those little excess pieces in your designs that you don't even like notice. It's just kind of annoying. But... <laughs> we de dealt with it and then I'm adding in my text from Marco Fultz to get it really spaced out you just have to um, when you're on the text layer you have to press control T like twice and then you guys will see that character pop up there and then on the character pop up the the one that says VA the VA icon just separate that more and that'll give you more space in between your characters and that's how you're gonna just make space in between your characters if you want to if you don't want to that's also fine um, you know it's all up to you I'm not here to say what you have to do and then so what I just did is I had a little drop shadow beneath that but right now it's kind of just all blending in so I had to make it white and I kind of just adjusted this a bunch of times until I really got it to where I wanted it to go because I was just sitting there like oh my gosh I don't like this I don't like this so I just had to switch it up a bunch of times, but that's fine. And I ultimately came to a nice, clean design that I wanted to have on there. So you guys see me just contemplating like several times what I should do. <laughs> but, uh, you know, it's all good. Eventually we'll get there, right? That's just how it works sometimes with your designs. I wanted to make the the uh, bar come right off of the E, so you guys will see me trying to do that without it mess without messing it up too bad. And I think we did a good job right there. And then I just went in and changed a little bit of my colors to match everything and just get everything looking nice. So at this point, the design was pretty much done. And then you just have your little minor things that you want to add on to. Uh, your design so I added a color lookup if you guys don't uh, Have the color lookups just look at one of my tutorials the color lookup tutorial. I believe that it's still linked in there um, So you can just go in my tutorials and look up the color lookups or just search calcoscope color lookup Whatever you want to do and these color lookups are really really good And I use them all the time on my designs like every design. I usually use a color lookup Unless I really go crazy and just uh, have really nice colors to begin with and then you guys saw I just used a little bit more curves and then I'm using selective color to get his skin tone like just more matching to the circle you guys see how before and after like now his skin's really matching the those browns that are really popping out from the circle so everything looks really cohesive and really clean and then this is just the shadow layer that I put underneath him and when you're doing the shadow make sure that there's not uh, as much of a shadow on the side of the light 
as they're reflecting and I had to make sure I did that because I had a little bit too much at first so I just had to go back and recheck just like you have to just do in designs and then this is me cleaning up cleaning up the kitchen once again so now you guys see on screen the final of my design Markel Fultz just super clean super cool and definitely something that you guys can use on your portfolios or just if you want to just try it out for fun do that but you know what I'm saying we just had a lot of fun on this I hope this um, breakdown really helped you guys out a lot let me know what other types of design styles you guys want me to start trying and just bringing to you because I'm open to all options I just want to grow as a designer just trying to grow every day so thank you guys for all the support you've been showing me and it just means so much if you guys like this make sure you guys drop a like down below like I said let me know what other videos you want to see from me and until next time, it's been Castle Scope. Stay scoped, y'all. I'm out.